Hey, welcome to Buhai Beats episode 10. Um, pro life tidbits uh, to keep our hearts beating for the pro life cause. It's been a busy day, I have to admit. Lots of things going on, and still lots of things to still happen uh, tonight and this weekend. Uh, but you know, uh, our little pro life tidbits have to continue. Um, and I think it's good to just share. Uh, how to explain things even a little simpler than usual that we look we watch all these videos on youtube and read all these articles and they're always so long and always so sometimes hard to understand so try to keep it light try to keep it short here um just like i said pro-life tidbits so welcome to buhay beats again um yesterday we talked about marriage and how to prepare for marriage and possible ways to make sure that your marriage is uh, safe, secure, and it grows and it develops well. But what happens if there's really a problem in your marriage? Uh, how does the church handle it? And the church has annulment. So annulment is a way where your marriage is deemed or declared null. So it's not that it never happened because you're, you went to church, you got married, but there was a reason for it to be nullified or to be declared null. And I've been watching a lot of videos and reading a lot of blogs uh, because most most probably you know the reasons. But this one by Father Mark Mary of Ascension Presents really uh, hit the nail on the head. And he said, there are three reasons for a declaration of nullity, ignorance, inability, or insincerity. So ignorance basically is uh, not knowing what the sacrament of marriage actually is. So in order to be able to get married, you have to know what you're getting into. And sometimes you're just ignorant about it. Maybe uh, maybe you're not a practiced Catholic, you're a lapsed Catholic, or you're just, uh, you just didn't know what it, what, what, what it was all about, everything that I was talking about yesterday. Second one is inability. Uh, maybe uh, one of the partners was pressured, uh, was threatened, was coerced, uh, really didn't want to do it, but had no choice. Uh, because at, at the end of the day, uh, you can, I don't know. Anyway, there's so many examples out there. I don't want to generalize. But yeah, so inability can come up with um, their coercion. So when you enter the sacrament of matrimony, it has to be a free act, your decision. You're, both of you have a, that decision to enter in it freely willingly that's why you're asked in your vows right uh, if you're willing to take each other husband and wife uh, for better and worse uh, sickness and health and all that so uh, you have to be able to do that and the third one insincerity so it's the i'll read it the lack of commitment or belief in the church's teachings on marriage so if you are not sincere if you were just you're just not into it or you don't believe in god you don't believe in marriage um, you're just doing it for the sake of getting married, then that's a insincerity on your part. And any of those three, of course, there are a lot of subtopics. Uh, those are three reasons or three ways that you can get a declaration of nullity for your marriage. I really hope that things don't end up uh, in that, that extent. Of course, you have your preparation, but let's say you're already married and you're having problems and there's counseling, there are communities that can help out. Um, and really this should be something as a last resort. resort, resort. And maybe it's because there was something inherently uh, wrong or inherently broken at the beginning. So uh, again, there's so many things to talk about, but here are just some tidbits, some bite-sized pieces of information about uh, being pro-life. So thank you again for joining us on Buhay Beats. We'll see you again tomorrow.